Theatre school kids make a song and dance of it at number 26 as they try their hand at some kiddie karaoke. Mini Pops was basically um, a group of kids ranging from about six up to probably about 12 or 13 and we got made up and dressed up and we performed as if we were being pop stars. Having spoken to my mum recently about it all, they were a bit concerned as to how much makeup we were being slapped on and um, some of the costumes that we were being given. Occasionally you come across something that is disturbing and Mini Pops is disturbing. The reason I remember the Mini Pops is because watching them was very similar to actual physical pain. It's just a, a biblical amount of rubbishness. It's wrong on more levels than I can even imagine. They're always looking slightly off camera like they've been threatened. was such a small percentage of what we did. Martin and Linda Wyatt, who sort of looked after us, after the series had finished, they were so careful about the makeup we wore and the costumes. Um, we weren't allowed to sing certain lyrics. The production team and the director had very definite ideas that were completely separate to Martin and Linda's. They couldn't really do a mini pops now because it's all 50 Cent and Dr Dre and all those kind of guys. Like, yeah, my bitches, my holes. Uh. I'd like to see them do the prodigy smack my bitch up. I think that would be that would be quality. And it'd be all black kids as well, which would be quite funny. And one lone white kid. My name is. It just wouldn't work. It's a shame that it's now looked back upon in such a bad light because at the time it was aimed at children and the children seemed to really enjoy it.